Integration, immigration status, discrimination regarding Afro-national in the EU is still problematic in some member states, despite the fact that there are policy measures, legislation or recommendation at both the national and the EU level. Greece is perceived by the Greek as one of the EU countries with the highest percentage of black people in its population. And yes, I said perceived as we have no data on the official number of Afro-Greeks in Greece because even though the EU data protection laws permits the collection of racial and ethnic data, Greece is one of the many member states that has failed to adopt legal norms, statistical categories and guidance to public authority or require the statistical office to do so. Although in some other countries, such as the former EU member state, the United Kingdom, collection of racialized data is very common. However, this is not the only problem in Greece. It is also an equality problem that stems from anti-black rhetorics. In order for our country to deal with these issues, Greece needs to address its multicultural reality and engage in racial dialogue with its Afro-Greek citizens. But how can Greece achieve this? First of all, we need a little bit of history of Afro-Greeks in Greece. The first known Afro-Greeks settled in the northern part of Greece at the border with Turkey during the Ottoman Empire. There are said to be enslaved Africans from the Ottoman Empire that are in the current day small town of Avaton. There are also other Afro-Greeks in some Greek island during the same period and during the transatlantic slave passage. Those people choose to be called Halikutides. These people were assimilated into the rural Greek communities but they were never fully represented in the Greek discourses around citizenship or as Greek citizens. However, with the increase in migration influx in the late 70s into Greece from sub-Saharan African countries, there is an increase in the number of Greek citizens that have African heritage. And these people currently reside also in urban spaces in Greece and they are called or known as Afro-Greeks. This young emerging population with migrant parents that are born or educated in Greece are estimated to be around 300,000 people. The second or third generation of people with an African heritage are shaping and contributing to Greek society but they are also marginalized, erased or even challenge when it comes to their Greekness in our society. And nowadays, according to the Racist Violence Recording Network report in 2018, the racial discrimination in the context of accession to citizenship has highlighted by the United Nations Special Rapporteur on modern forms of racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, intolerance, and she concludes that nationalism in its broad sense the nation of Greece is perceived in blood ties and origins. Besides, it's also highlighted that there is an increase in racist violence and hate speech that is attributed to the resurgence of national populism, which has played a decisive role in the diffusion of normalization of extreme messages of intolerance, which were adopted by extreme groups. Black Greeks or Afro Greeks, despite that so many of them now have legal citizenship, are still being seen as migrants or foreigners, even in the country of their own birth and upbringing. Furthermore, there are a known number of Greek-born children of immigrants that are stateless if they cannot take the citizenship of their parents or the nationality of their parents before the year 2008. The NBA player Yanis Adetokounmpo and his siblings Kostas Thanasis of one of the famous of this group of children. Before the Prime Minister Adoni Samara awarded Yanis citizenship at the age of 18 when he was drafted by an NBA team, the Milwaukee Bucks. The majority of heterogeneous white Greek people do not accept or even understand that there are Afro-Greeks except of course for this exceptional situation such as the Atetokounmpo's brothers, four athletes who have become professional basketball players in the NBA. 
There are more Afro-Greeks in different sectors of Greek society that we need to amplify and accept their various contributions to our society. Therefore, you can see that this is an issue that we need to discuss and approach and engage with in Greece. How do we do that? This could begin by acknowledging the demographic diversity in all of Greece's social affairs and having data and numbers of racialized Greek citizens in different sectors of life and even in our Greek national census. This would help to address the lack of visibility and inclusion of Greek of African descent in the dominant discourse and narrative of Greece. Moreover, the exceptionalism that we experienced for the examples of the Adeto Kumba brother actually causes more exclusion, discrimination, and racism to other Afro-Greeks that are not in that facet of life, in their different facet of life, and we must end this.